So inside of settings, there is now a two, you'll see two new buttons inside of settings, uh, and it is open the presets folder and import presets, right? So, um, and you guys make sure you stick around cool. Cause I'm going to actually give you guys something. We're going to mess around with this swing stuff in a minute. And I'm going to give you, give you guys something for, for, um, uh, for watching this video, the ones that are kind of hanging out, y'all get something, y'all get a freebie and I'll send it out in an email, I guess. I don't know, next few days or whatever. Um, but you guys will get a may get a freebie just for hanging out. Uh, let's see. So you see the open presets folder. This actually opens your presets folder, your user presets, and you can see all of your presets. So I got this folder right here that says John Loops, right? It's got all my loops in it. These are custom loops that I've created, right? So let's just say I want to import this into my... Uh, you know, back to my, you know, back book or whatever. I can copy this. And for all intents and purposes, we're just going to paste it here in my downloads folder, right? That's where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to go back though. And we're going to simulate if I was using this on my Mac, uh, on my MacBook or on my Mac studio, or what have you. I want to import this into my MacBook. So as you can see, I don't have a folder here or a preset folder called John's loop. There's nothing in here. Now, all I have to do is like I did copy that folder, that preset folder out of my presets into a location on my Mac, a different location on my MacBook, go into settings, click import presets, navigate to that John loops folder with all of these loops in there, hit open, and just that easy, now I have John Loops and I have those loops. So the other use case that this um, brings into is for you guys as Loop Elements Pro users to be able to share loops with each other, to be able to share presets with each other. You know how it is when your homeboy's like, hey, bro, can you send me that loop? Oh, that loop was dope. Can you send me that loop? That loop you had for How Great Is Our God was crazy. Can you send me that loop? Now, if your homeboy has loop elements, you can easily send them that loop straight from, or any loop that you have inside of loop elements. You can create it, send it to your homeboy, send it to your, your guys, as long as they have loop elements. It's not like sending them a WAV file. It's not like sending them MIDI. It's literally sending them loop to loop, loop elements to loop elements, the presets to presets. So if your homeboy loves your loops, he has loop elements as well, or you gotta tell him, hey, you gotta get loop elements, dog. You get loop elements, don't, don't, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that gives your homeboy loop elements. Don't be that guy. I promise you, I will get you. I will come look for you. I will, I promise you, I promise you, you will be, you will be, yes, don't do that. Don't be that guy. Be the guy that says, hey, go, hey, hey, bro, go get loop elements. If you get loop elements, I can send you the loops straight from my joint. I can just send you the loops. Yeah, just send you the loops. Be that guy. Don't be the other guy, especially if you're doing it for church. Say, if you're doing it for the Lord, then you're going to, you're going to steal some software. That's a whole nother conversation. Y'all know how I feel about that. Anyway, so now it enables you guys to be able to share loops. And I want to be able to start creating a community uh, loop sharing, like in our groups and all that stuff like that. And maybe once a month or something like that, we can put out the community loops and start building out the library. And it'll be free for anybody who owns loop elements. I want to start getting you guys. So if you create loops, if you got dope loops you've done with loop elements, please, please hit me up. We will put them in together in like a community pack or something like that. And we'll just send that out once a month and people can use that. And then we can help grow this entire library together, sending each other the loops. We'll just make them available. I'm going to drop some loops that I have, the John Loops folder and this other folder that I got here called the Swing Machine. I'm going to drop that. Um, I'm going to drop that for free inside of our Facebook group. I'll drop it in there free for anybody who loses, uses loop elements. You can easily just import these loops straight in from the settings menu. I'm going to give you guys that have loop elements. I'm going to give you these loops that I've created in here. And then we're going to work on start 
creating some preset packs and stuff that we're going to be dropping in the future uh, that'll probably be some paid packs, but it'll be something that it'll be worth it. You know, it'd be worth you spending the money on because we would have been done, sat down and done the work for you. All right. So um, that's something. And the third use case, I want to make an appeal to you guys because I think this would be really, really cool if I would love to do this. If I wasn't the CEO of, a comp of the company, I would do this. This gives you guys an opportunity as creative entrepreneurs to sell loop packs, sell preset packs. If you are really cold at doing loops, yo, get in loop elements, create a loop pack for loop elements and sell it on your website. You can start making money. It's just that simple because we have a large user base for loop elements, a very large user base. And, you know, yeah, you want to be able to tap into that. You're going to want to be able to tap in that. So if you're a creative entrepreneur, maybe just put a seat on your ground. It's just as simple as you go in here in the settings, opening up your preset folder, going to your whoever your name loops, whatever you want to call a loop pack, copying this, pasting it, zipping it up, putting it on your website, selling it. The presets, the 271 kilobytes for that folder. There's nothing to host and share. So I'm really pushing and encouraging you guys that are creative entrepreneurs to get out there and create loop packs and stuff for loop elements. I love to see that. I would push that. I would send it out to our extremely large library if you do that. I will, not library, but a uh, user base. We have a user base that is in the tens of thousands getting close to, you know, some, some really cool numbers on the website. So I would love to be able to share that out to our tens of thousands of users uh, on the website uh, and give you guys an opportunity to generate some revenue. And I wouldn't take any of that revenue. It'd be 100% your revenue, do what you want to do with it. But now you have the opportunity to create your own loops for loop elements and sell them, share them, give them away for free, give them to your homeboy or take them and import them from computer to computer, which was the thing that kind of triggered in my own mind. I was like, dang, I'm doing all these loops on my desktop. I need them on my laptop. So that provides a solution, but it also opens up an opportunity for other people to be able to, and this is literally just clicking and importing and exporting presets. All right. So those are the new features. Let me do a quick overview for you guys of all of the, the, the quick too long didn't watch. I'm going to give you a quick too long didn't watch on all of the features that we released. And then I'm going to actually create some loops for you guys for a few minutes. And then we're going to jump. We're going to jump off uh, and I'm going to share this stuff with you guys. All right. So check this out. So we got plus and minus on the global BPM. You can also shift click and type in any BPM that you want. Oh, I typed in one something, <laughs> even like 0.5 BPMs. Like if I wanted to shift click and go like uh, 85.5, you know, it's going to give me 86, but it's 85. The BPM is actually 85.5. So you can do those point BPMs. You can do all of those things like that. We got tap tempo in here. You know what I'm saying? That you can lock that. We got the uh, metronome where you can split it to the left. You know what I'm saying? We have, uh, what else do we add? We got the swing in there. You know what I'm saying? So you can take any loop, go to swing. Let's go to something that's not straight ahead. You can easily do that. You know what I'm saying? So we got the swing in there. We added in nine, eight as an option for time signature that you can in there inside of the channel browser or the channel effects. We have a nice little window here where you can now select your loops from within the channel effects. Uh, we also allow you to be able to move the channel effects. You can click here at the top and literally move it anywhere on the interface so you can have multiple one of these windows open you know what I'm saying, at the same time, and they retain their position. So if I click here on eight, eight pops up back there. What was the other one, was it? I can't remember which the other one I clicked, but whatever it was, four, yeah, four. It'll stay down there. So you can do that. We added those in there. We also added in the ability to import and export your own presets. 
you know, custom presets you can create, import them, send them to your um, library. And then one of the other things that I'm very, very proud of is the fact that you can now control loop elements completely from a nano control. Volumes. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you can control it completely from there. Really, really, really dope. Those are kind of all of the features that we added into Loop Elements on this particular update.